I hope you were able easily crack this challenge. Let's now do that together. Let's first export new variable, export my underscore name and the value will be in my case Bogdan. Now let's create a new file called name.sh. Touch name.sh. And now let's edit it using nano editor, nano name.sh. Here on the first line will be hash sign, next comes exclamation mark and afterwards will be path to corresponding executable that will launch this executable file, bin bash. And on next line I'll simply use echo, dollar sign, my name, like this. Very simple. Let's save this file. And now let's list files and folders here in home directory ls-la and I see this newly created file name.sh. But now this file is not executable, you see here those permissions. I am able to read write this file as owner and other users in the same group Bogdan are also able to read and write file. All the remaining users in other groups are able only to read this file. Now let's add execution permission for this file. And I could do that using chmod command. And here I could use simply syntax plus x. Add execution permission. And next will come name of the file name.sh. Let's press enter. Let's verify now permissions. And now you see that everyone is able to execute this file. If you don't want that anyone else will be able to execute it, you could of course remove X for all remaining users and leave X only for this user. For that you could use either U plus X syntax, first remove X, let me show you it actually quickly. Let's go back and remove execution permission like this and next let's add plus X only for user, like so. And now let's verify permissions. And you'll see that now only owner of this file is able to execute it. Now let's run it. I could use either absolute path to this file name.sh or relative path. Let's use, let's say, relative path dot slash and name of the file name.sh. And I see my name here in the terminal. That means that this script works correctly and this script is able to get access to environment variables. Let's quickly have a look at contents of this script. And here is this line that accesses my name variable that we have created before with export command. Alright, that's all for solution for this challenge and that's all actually for this section.